So I'm so excited about this record releasing April 28th. It's called Let It Be Jesus. And this process has been beautiful because this commemorates 20 years of my husband and I being in ministry together and he produced this record. And so I remember sitting on the couch and him saying, okay, so you've written these songs, you've been writing and it looks like to me, what's different from the past is that these are corporate worship songs. And in the past, it's always kind of been like, oh, write these singer songwriter moments and then the worship songs will kind of come at the end. Well, it was like, I kept writing worship songs and then worship songs and these corporate songs. And I kept thinking, okay, the singer songwriter moments are gonna come towards the end. And they kind of didn't, it was actually like, we had even more music you know, that we did live that we didn't even end up using on the record. It was like all worship music, all corporate worship. And so he's like, what do you want this to sound like? And how do you do this in the studio? You know, And he's like, do you want it to be stripped down like your last record? And we were like, no, I mean, these are anthems. And so he said, what if you record it live? As soon as he said that, I was like, okay, this is, this is gonna be different. This is gonna be special. And so we had the idea to record it at Passion City Church with our door holders, which are our volunteers, and a lot of our friends and family came. And it was a just a sweet group of people, you know, that I could tell were there to really believe with me and cheer me on. And such a beautiful night. We just really stopped and remembered. It was in December and it was kind of right before the Christmas rush of everything. So it was this beautiful time to just get to stop together and remember Jesus. And again, he's just this thread that was, um, threaded through the entire night, through all the songs, and it was just gorgeous to be able to just stop before things got crazy, remember together, teach them these songs. Some of them they knew, some of them they didn't. And it was such an incredible, incredible night. I got to write with a lot of my sweet friends, um, Jason Ingram being one of them. I've known Jason for almost 15 years and have traveled with him, been on staff at a church with him. and. It's always neat, you know, to go in with the writers for a record like this and you end up having amazing conversations, you know, about our culture, about where the capital C church is just across the board. What you end up doing in those times is it's such um, an incredible time to just catch up, but also just say, what's going on in our world, in our culture, and then to get on your knees and say, Jesus, in light of what we just talked about, come and speak in. What do you want us to leave your people in, in this day, and this time? And that's what happened as I wrote with these people. It was just incredible. Ellie Holcomb was another I got to write with. An incredible time of just, we probably were weeping within five minutes and we didn't even know each other. And it was just how God molded um, us together and shaped these songs was just an incredible, incredible experience. And I'm excited for April 28th to finally get here and to be able to give Let It Be Jesus to the world.